Well, nonprofit organization Farmers Veteran Coalition is providing a grant to help veterans start their own business in agriculture. Yeah, this national group recently moved its headquarters to Waco, and this Sunday marks its 14th anniversary. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us now in the newsroom to explain why grants like these are needed. Earl. Adam, this grant is able to help veterans overcome the early stage challenges of being a farmer. As older farmers start to retire or leave, this organization helps fill the gap. Farmer Veteran Coalition Executive Director Jeanette Lombardo says its mission is to take veterans who are exiting the military, find jobs in agriculture, and start their own farms and ranches. That means helping with the training. It means helping them with um, access to capital, access to land, um, market access. So we're there every step of the way. The Fellowship Fund grant started in 2012 with donors wanting to help veterans in their operations. Over the years, we've done things from, um, you know, just equipment like brush hogs to fencing to, um, you know, shoots for cattle. We've, we've pretty much done it all. With 38,000 members across the nation, the coalition moved its headquarters to Waco to be in a central location. 433 members applied for this grant last year, and a third are selected to receive funds. Texas Farm Bureau spokesperson Gary Joyner says they see many veterans looking for opportunities like this. We've had members of Texas Farm Bureau with past military experience come to us and ask, are there programs, are there specific opportunities out there to get into agriculture, maybe as a first time farmer or rancher or to return to agriculture. To apply, you must be a veteran, a part of the coalition. Membership is free. The grants range from one to $5,000. Nick Flanagan, Farmer Veteran Coalition Director of Fund Development says the organization indirectly supports suicide prevention, helping combat the high rates of suicide within veterans entering civilian life and farmers. They just struggle a lot with, uh, knowing how to keep how to how to keep busy how what what's their next purpose and so um, that's what that's what we're trying to um, focus on for more information you can go to their website farmvetco.org the application deadline is february 14th the coalition headquarter is in downtown waco and there is a local chapter in college station for anyone wanting to meet in person live in the newsroom earl stoudemire fox 44 news